Dear Jerome, how do I find my passion when it feels like I don't have any? Lately, I've been feeling so much anxiety and I think it's because I feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. The strange thing is, I don't even know what that is. So, how do I find my passion? When you actually say you're doing, you, you think you're doing what you're not supposed to be doing with your life, you'll be surprised to know that a lot of people right now are doing what they're not supposed to be doing with their lives. Sometimes we don't find our passion because um, we, 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 people ahead of us always feel there are certain things that we should do. People actually think they can rule your life for you or tell you how to go about your life. And if you allow it, you'll be surprised that right from everybody ahead of you that you meet, everybody will have a say in your life. They will tell you, look, I've been watching you. This is what you're good for. I've been watching you. That's what you're good for. Having said that though, you'll realize that not everybody will be wrong. Not everybody would actually want to control your life. Some people are going to tell you that because they feel very concerned. They feel they'll be able to really notice something about you that they want to see you really, really go for because they think that that would be a heat for you in life. How would you know if somebody, for example, is telling you something that you should, that, that, that goes very well with you? You would, you would realize that right within you, there would be a, 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 form of, a, a kind of connection. You would feel like, oh my God, there's something that's come alive in me. I think I agree with that. I think it wouldn't be like, oh my God, I want to do this because I want to satisfy. I want to do this because I want to make my, my father happy. I want to do this because I want my mother to eventually accept me and say, yes, this is my real daughter. I'm so proud of her. You realize that there, there, is, there is going to be a click somewhere. Somewhere inside of you, you realize that something tells you, yes, this is like a, a dream, a dream like a, a, something that has been inside of me, something intrinsic, something original, something I've thought about many times, but I've been so scared of how to start. But someone else is telling me this. Now, along the line, when you now start to look at it that way, it, it might not yet become a passion because when you talk about passion, passion comes from the fact that it's something that you have not only dreamt about it, but you find yourself little by little doing something about it. Little by little, you rediscover that you, you have started trying to do one or two things towards that. Everything you try to do is towards that. Like, for example, you find a girl who is into makeup and she's crazy about makeup right now and she's doing well in makeup right now. If you ask her, how does she start? She'll tell you that right from the time that she was young, she's always felt like, you know, every time she sees the face of people, all she thinks about is how their face can be better than what it is right now. What can you add to this face to make this face more attractive? She actually will tell you, oh, you've got good lips. When others don't see the lips, she sees it. And she's just thinking about what to use to enhance the lips. She actually would tell you, oh, good eyes. When nobody sees those eyes, you know. And all she's thinking about is how to enhance the eyes and make others who have not been able to see it, see it so well. And so from time to time, she's always trying to do something in that particular um, direction. So right now, because she's already from the very beginning trying to do something about it, you realize that she's catching up on her passion. Now, why, why does she not consider it all along? Because maybe she's discussed it with one or two people. And they think, how, how, how dare you think about that? You want to be a makeup artist? Are you crazy? Do you, know, do you know who you are? Do you know what kind of family you come from? Well, we have a lot of makeup artists who have made, made it big time. Do you understand? And they're actually able to feed their whole family just from being a makeup artist. What makes the difference? The difference is they did not go into makeup artistry because it is the reigning thing, because it is what everybody is going for. You know, because there's this thing about people. Once they think something is bringing in money, everybody goes for it and they rush into it. This particular girl I'm talking about right now goes for it anyway, whether there is money in it or not. She will do it when there's money in it. She will do it when there's no money in it. She will do it because it's part of her life. It's part of her being. It is original with her. So you find that she's always done it. And, and when she, she, she goes into doing something about it, what she does is she goes further 
than what other makeup artists have done. She makes make makeup artistry her own. She creates something new out of it. She, she brings about something that others have never thought about could come out of makeup artistry. And, and there, this is somebody who's found her passion. You can do the same. Watch your life. Watch what you do 24 hours a day. There's always something that is in your mind that just will not go away. There's something you're already doing. There's a touch. There's, there's, a, there's something you always put an extra touch into. It might be the way you serve food, all right? I mean, you have some people who just serve rice, you know, like on the plate. You have other people who will just who will want to serve rice and add art to it. They're not crazy about just serving rice. They're crazy about the way they will serve the rice and make the rice something that the other person will actually enjoy and make it memorable. Now, that's passion. And that's what you need to begin to look at in your own life. You find out that there are people who maybe want to look very good. They always want to look very good. When they look at how people dress, they feel, oh my God, this particular trouser would have looked a lot better if this person was actually doing this or doing that with it. This particular shirt would, would be much better on this person than what this person is wearing now. So every time they see someone, all they're thinking about is how this person can look better than what this person looks like. Now that's another passion. You're already finding passion. But why is it that people who think they're looking for their passion have already found their passion, but they do not know they found their passion? Because they feel when they discuss it with people, if they, people others may just not accept it. Now... That's not what your concern should be. Your concern should be, how far can I take this? Who has gone before me and done this and actually settled well inside of it? What do I need to know to take this even further? That way, you can actually begin to do about the same thing. And you realize that you will, you will come alive. You know, whatever died inside of you will come alive because you're doing something right now that is original with you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like, comment, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.